Okay. Well, inspiring to know that you're doing it for over a decade because most persons who start out doing music and you know, not getting the number one song that they're longing for so hard, you know, they get distracted and quit. So commendation to you to know that you have been fighting to hold your own in the industry for this long and you're still trying. So what is the new song that you're working on? Um, for the new song now, I do two new songs except for um, uh, Platinum Stylist, uh, Platinum, um, uh, Platinum is him, Basis Planet, the Basis Planet, um, I did a two song for them to play, and uh, that's the two song I'm um, uh, rich, um, I do like, uh, I have two new songs for them right now I'm working. Um, Pooley is one, and uh, the other one is um, a rich. A rich. Yeah, you know, girl, girl, it's a rich like. Okay. I saw you send me one of your new songs. I'm going to play it for two minutes, and then if you want, you can give me a logic. Uh, were you saying something logic? Okay, mute it because we're playing Maddie's song now. Go ahead. So, Maddie, this is a new song you're working on, right? Yeah, that's a new song you're working on. Okay, so I'm going to play. What I wanted to do is just give me the, the chorus of it, a cappella style, and then. Hopefully we'll find it on the track. Let's send it to you, what's up? The one that you're promoting now, just give us the chorus. In fact, you can sing the song. Sing the song, man. The one, the one that you said, the, the one you sent me about youths, and praying or something yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, for you. Right. I mean, sing the one for you. Right, right. That's my favorite. I see you said today I pray. Eleven, your mother, your father, he said. And to the youth said today I say. Say don't fall about company and leave yourself astray. And uh, your mother. And your father, and you days it's filled with love. Just show some love between your hearts and wipe away by something and thoughts. And child will give you everything you want. Look like and leave. Oh, yes. It's the other gift, rest the far I ever give. No life to live. Oh yes, it's the other gift, rest the far I ever give. I show some love to the children, all when they run for the dead. No matter what son keep them, are you so stiff and beat them? Talking to you teenagers, show respect to the elders. And when you see them, you feel them. No matter disrespect them, they just show some love. It's like a blessing from above. Just show some love. Wow. It's like a blessing from above. I feel the youth then to thee, I pray. See, Anna, your mother, your father, each day. And to the youth then to thee, I say. Don't fall apart company and leave yourself astray, youths. 
should be centered around you know lockdown and persons not being able to sh do shopping you know when you go shopping during the lockdown it's very limited because you work from nine to five monday to sunday some people work nine to five monday to friday However, on Saturday, they are accustomed to go to the market and get their wear, whether it is they're going to buy grocery for the house, or they're going to get some outfit to go back to work. I mean, it's chaotic, right? As an artist, you know, we have to be role model. Or the artists have a responsibility in terms of being a motivation to youths and adults in general. They need to set set the pace for the public and i know some of these issues affect us ourselves and as a role model or a musician who has persons looking up to them what would be your advice to persons who you know is unable to go and do the regular shopping and the, the chores in the house and balance the responsibilities that they normally have what is your advice to persons who are affected by the lockdown? You know, normally it's market, you go out early and you come back early, but the days during the week have a shorter period. So if you normally wake up at 9 o'clock, you might have to be waking up at 8 o'clock. And by the time you go down to the market, you know, everybody hustling and bustling. What is your advice to them? Because they can't get enough hours out of the day to buy what they need. Wow. But my advice to them is that first, the people who can afford the things that I mean, guys, not everybody right now can really can afford a job. I mean, so I think. Early, you know what I mean? You have to try to do early, or you have to do it on a weekly basis. You know what I mean? You buy, you buy your things like during the week when you can uh, get the time to do it. As early as you have for your crowd, and uh, you know what I mean? No way of the um, around the mass and uh, the distance and all of that. So, uh, you have to avoid it in the weekend rush. You know what I mean? So, we have to take advice to buy it and you go early. Or if you get by sun during the week, now I mean, like on a week, the way we're not so crowded. You can't wait until, until the weekend come down, then you have a rush down. And, and I mean, I was very satisfied. You have your old school work to do because if you're on the work road, 8 o'clock to 4 o'clock every day, Saturday come, the dirty clothes, and I go back up on you, and if any food. Until after the curfew, and then they're going to. 
they say, oh, they are essential workers. In fact, really the essential workers is really the medical workers and a couple of other professionals. But you don't have enough hours. So the reality is during the week, it's chaotic. If you go there Monday, everybody back up from Saturday, Sunday. If you go there Tuesday, it's the same thing. The boss is going to say, yo, you were late, you're late yesterday and you come today late again because what happened on a Monday, you know, is uh, people catching up for the weekend rush and then you still have one and two purchases that you're going to force and get during work time, if it's even lunchtime. So the truth is you have a void and it's not going to be filled. It's not going to be easily filled. But what I really like and want to know is that as artists, we can adapt areas in the, const- the division that I'm running for in terms of being an ambassador and helping on the ground. There are persons there who really don't have a little grocery. And, you know, in wanting to fuse the cooperation between the artists and the community, we get pledged from previous artists to help with masks, and we get pledged from other artists, to, not artists, but my campaign manager actually promised, you know, that he would help with some candles and stuff like that. So what is it you can do towards some of the persons who probably don't have any grocery during the lockdown? Well, I, I think that the sometimes things are to change, you know, things really change, I mean, I have to try to put some different measures and different ways of survival. You know? and, this, and this change is not going to be like today, it's going to go on for a long while. I was like, I have to try to doubt this thing because it's going to be with us for a while. You know? So, all we have to do is try to try to help each other, try to help each other, and afford to keep on 